In this tutorial, let's look at a few refactorings which would help us include this piece of code. If you look at the method right now, it's testing both creation of the student with the name and also setting the mark marks. So in that sense, the name of the method is not really appropriate and also uh, in terms of J units, they should only test one thing at a time. So I would want to actually now create a new test. I would say add test again. So obviously I would need to start with public void because a test should always start with public void. And I want to test actually here the test setting of math marks. So let's test uh, the setting of math marks here. So what I'll do is actually move the code uh, to test the uh, math marks alone in here. So I'm actually using a command called alt bottom arrow to move the code down here. So this is good. The only thing is this is uh, a common line which I would want to use. So I can do something of this kind. Now what happens is uh, this method would just test the creation of the student. So if something wrong with the creation of the student then you'd find it out here. If something's wrong with the setting of math in mathematic marks, you'd find it here. Um, usually, there is a discussion in uh, the uh, like Java community about uh, the appropriateness of testing getters and setters. Uh, let's not worry about it. Let's go ahead and create tests for getters and setters as well, even though it's code which we actually generated from Eclipse, because at later point in time, it might be useful. But yeah, it's uh, an argument uh, which can go either way. I mean, there is no perfect answer to it. So uh, let's just do something which is simple, which is creating the test methods for now. Um, now let's run as JUnit test. So it works. So that's basically uh, our student class. So now we are able to create a student class and we are now able to set mathematic marks for a particular student. So that's real good progress. Now let's go ahead and create a new, uh, we, let's go ahead and add new functionality to this uh, project. Uh, let's now think in terms of uh, creating a course instance and probably adding a couple of students for it and seeing uh, what the average of mathematics marks for that particular course instance is. So let's think, uh, let's go ahead and start working on it. Uh, I would start with creating a new class, Control N, Command N, uh, next. As usual, we would create a test class first. And I would want to create this in the project called Course Enrollment. I would want to create this in the test directory. So I would go ahead and select that. And then I would want to call this, uh, I would want to call this class as Course Enrollment. Like I would want to put this in student package or oh, sorry i want to put that in course package because it is related to a course and not a student so the name of the class would be a course i want to create a course instance so i would call it course instance test so i think that's about it and let's click finish and see yeah that's about it and let's create our first test uh, so our first test is uh, I press control space just import test and real public void test on test creation of course instance of course instance and let's go ahead and quickly write out the test uh, course instance maximize the class so we can see it in full screen is equal to new course instance and I would want to set uh, I would want to send the name of the course instance as a parameter probably I would say uh, spring session of math spring session math uh, 2013 so that's basically the name of the course instance i'd want to actually at a later point in time uh, get 
the name and say I would want to check whether the name is properly set so I say asset equals course instance dot get name and want to check whether this equals the parameter which we passed in here so that's basically string instance so now I want to just check that the course instance dot get name is setting the Getting me the proper value. So that's basically it. Let's go ahead and solve the compilation errors. So first thing is creating the class course instance. I would want to create this in the source directory. You can use browse and select source. Um, it's and then I click finish. So now I create the course instance class. I can go back to the course instance test. Command E, Control E. Uh, I would want to now create a new constructor in course instance public the constructor name is class name I won't want to pass in name as the argument uh, and then uh, let's go ahead just try solving just the compilation errors first and uh, create method let's say and I would want this to remove return string I'll leave the to do's in because those are in reminders to me that the stuff is not yet done so I'll just go ahead and say assert equals is giving me a compilation error now so I'll say com command one again and add static import for star so that's fixed so now we are in a state where we can run the test obviously it would fail but as part of test first development let's just make sure that the test fails so run as JUnit test and good Alt Shift X or Command Alt X, whichever way you want to use it. Uh, the test fails. Uh, let's now go ahead and uh, use the course instance object to make it pass. I would want to create a variable uh, called name, so the string name. I would want to set here uh, the name of the variable. So this dot name is equal to name, and uh, I would want to return this dot name even just return name is fine because here I don't have a argument name name so when I say name it directly refers only the member variable so that's uh, this that's this name that's referred so that's good so now I have uh, the thing up and running let's try and run JUnit test and see if it works fine it's good so we have a course instance let's now set a uh, student to this course instance so at test I would want now to be able to add a couple of students to this uh, course so let's say I would want to add test add addition of a student to, uh, at test let's say I create student one so I would call it test addition of student one to this course and to course so I want to add a new student so I would actually copy this line down so I would copy this down I would want to create a new course and then be able to add course dot instance dot set student one so we need a student to be able to set the student so I'll create a student object as well student student one is equal to new student of uh, let's say I want to name it as anything student one okay I made a mistake actually while creating the classes I should have created them in the course enrollment package but I've created them in the maths package so sorry math project so I'll just move over this classes to course enrollment that's the source and let's also move over the test files so that's good now let's go ahead and continue working on this stuff 
control E, post instance test. So I just press control one and now I can do a import student because student is already defined in this project. I'll do an import student of that and I would want to set the student one to student one. So now this is an important concept. We'll go into learn how to pass a student as a parameter. Until now we were using strings and integers as parameters. Now we are actually uh, using uh, the <coughs> and then we would want to assert equals uh, let's get the student one's name and check whether it's matching so I'll say student one is equal to student one dot get so I would want to do it through course instance so I would want to say course instance dot get Uh, student one dot get name. So I want to get the student and get his name, and then check whether it's student one. So that's uh, I'll just maximize the screen so that you can look at everything which is written. So basically, what we are doing it's it might sound complicated. What we are doing is course creating a course instance and then creating a student, and we are setting the student one of the course to course to student one and checking whether the course instance we are getting the student through the course instance so we are doing course instance dot get student one dot get name is right so obviously there are few compilation errors let's get to resolving them um, student one obviously let's create uh, student one I leave it as student one that's fine for now let's our aim is to get it to compile so let's move on to test and uh, here we have student one so let's create do control one create student one so public student one that's good and that's great actually we have most of our work done all that we need to do is create an instance of student one here so we want student we want to create a variable called student one number variable which is of type student and now I can actually set this dot student one is equal to student one and here I can return student one back so that's basically a simple class that we created now I, let's run the test and see if this works great so that's it so we are able to now add a student one Let's add student 2 and do more with this example in the next video. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.